All right, so the Nintendo NX, which we still don't know much about, um, supposedly is it is coming out in the spring of 2017. And um, there have been various rumors about this system. Um, one of the rumors that was more prevalent than some of the others was um, how games will be delivered to this. Um, I think Nintendo had filed a patent for a console that only used a hard drive to run games with and no no way to read other types of media, you know, whether that be cartridge or disc based or anything like that. Um, and, you know, there were a lot of people that were really good with doing their homework and pretty much saying, you know, look, uh, companies file patents all the time that they don't necessarily use. So just because that happens, it's not the best, it's not the most reliable piece of information to go on. Um, so it looks like there was a GameStop earnings call recently where the GameStop CEO, his name is uh, Paul Rains, I believe. Paul Rains. Um, he was talking about the console, and here's his quote. I would say that the fact that there are rumors of that type just confirms for you that this is an important console for next year. It will have physical media. We will play a role in it. Our pre-owned business will also play a role. So we're excited about that. Um, and I do believe... Um, oh, and he actually goes further as to what type of physical media will be used. Um, yeah, he further says, the only difference would be on the refurbishment and pre-owned side. And actually, cartridges are much simpler to refurbish and repackage. So there is somewhat a little bit of an advantage if it went in that direction on use. So we're still un unsure if this is going to go the cartridge route and whether it's going to go the disk-based route. Um, the reason for the cartridge rumors is... I believe uh, the company in China that Nintendo usually has um, create their ROM chips that they use in the 3DS. They have reported that Nintendo has asked them to manufacture more, like a much more. So, um, you know, the when the MH comes out, that will probably basically just take the place of what they're manufacturing for the current generation of the 3DS. So that's not going to really increase the numbers. But if you have both a handheld and a home console that you are both coming out with games for and you need media manufactured for that physical media, then that that would make sense. So it could go, it still could go either way. Um, they're still there. There's even though they're they're a lot cheaper now, um, a cartridge-based system would be much more expensive to make games for. But yeah, what were your thoughts? I'm I'm still on board for cartridge-based. Um, just using cartridges for games, just because uh, it's harder to damage a cartridge than it is a disc. Like, if you were, uh, a couple weeks ago at my friend's wedding, uh, we went into this, like, man cave thing, um, and that's where we hung out for, like, a few hours, uh, beforehand, um, and just the groomsmen and our friend, we just, uh, they had a 64 there, and they had a bunch of cartridges there and we were just playing them and it it felt like i was just playing the same thing as when i was a kid you know there was like nothing really buggy about it nothing was wrong however if you were to play like a disc that's been uh like used ones uh they are just you know simply put they're just more fragile yeah yeah so much more can happen because a disc isn't really protected very much um, I guess the top of the disc, you know, I, I don't know if anything can happen to that that would affect it. 
on the bottom. But pretty much if anything happens to that bottom part, the disc is almost useless. Well, with a disc, um, the so yeah, you can get scratches on the bottom, but actually the data is on the other side underneath the label. So if you get any kind of scratch that goes through the label, no scratch removal or any you know you can't buff that out the the data is gone at that point so yeah you have to worry about both sides when it comes to any kind of compact disc okay well yeah there you go i didn't know that <laughs> and now i'm gonna be two times more careful with my seat with my discs now yeah. um but yeah like it's just a fragile thing but with like cartridges for like the 64 it's like this like half an inch thick plastic wrapped around the uh, game cartridge and you know there are ways that those can get damaged um, but it's a lot harder to damage them and I'm not saying that like they're gonna make the same exact thing as like a 64 cartridge or something but you know something like a maybe a bigger version of the 3ds cartridges maybe mm-hmm we might be looking at something kind of like that, or it could be something completely new, but... I want to say that they, that company, I wish I knew what the name of the company was, but they have actually gotten up to a 30 gig, or I'm sorry, 32 gig um, ROM chip to be used in a cartridge. And, you know, Blu-rays are currently up to, up to 50. So... You know, that's not too far behind. I want to say that Nintendo really hasn't created any games that, um, on their discs, that really exceed 8 gigabytes in size. Because they don't, they don't do things, on, they don't really put things in their games that take up a lot of space. They don't do a whole lot of voice acting, so you don't have a lot of sound recordings that typically take up more space. They don't really do a whole lot of uh, full motion video or pre-rendered video um, files in their games either. So that also saves on space. So they manage their space very well, so they wouldn't even need that much, you know, to begin with. Um, now, I remember it was this conversation that I had probably about seven years ago with a couple of friends of mine. We were just talking about, you know, the future of gaming. And this is when digital distribution was starting to finally take off. Like you would see full retail games available on download for 360 and PS3. And uh, they were all like, yeah, we're totally going to download all of our games. We're not going to get games on physical media anymore. And, uh, me and my roommate at the time, we were just like, are you crazy? Like, you have to provide your own storage for that game. Like, when you buy a game on physical media, cartridge or disc, it comes with its own storage. Um, something that I'm running into a problem now with the PS4 is every game has, like, close to a 50 gigabyte installation. And you know, hey, that drive is only 500 gigs in size. So you do the math, that's only about 10 games that you can install on there. And you, yeah, you can go on there and uninstall games that you're not going to be playing for a while. But that's that's still annoying. That's That kind of goes against the whole point of having physical media in the first place. And I realize that that's, you know, to help with load times and, you know, it goes it goes from that angle but i like how i'm sorry that's the thing i like about the wii u and other nintendo products they don't or games they don't force you to install i remember in the, on the ps3 i used to complain every time capcom had a game it would come with five gigabytes of an installation i was like man this is so huge i wish I, we, that we could return to those days um but uh, but yeah, whether it goes the route of um, discs or cartridges, I, to me, I consider this to be to be good news. I don't think, as much as industry analysts keep saying, you know, we need to go fully digital, and someone needs to do it. I just I don't think that we're there yet. Um, and you know, hey, 
I think it's I think it's going to be good for collectors. Um, I mean, I know with the retro game market, um, a loose cartridge is a lot more valuable than a loose disc, just because you know you can keep you can keep this protected, but you better have it in a case, and not just like a flimsy CD folder case. You need to have like a jewel case or a DVD case or a game case, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, I think this is good news and I think it will definitely help the NX in the long run, especially if they do manage to go the cartridge route. I think that'd be pretty fascinating.